am back today with a flip through of a Japanese food um, traveling coloring book. Sorry, I just shook the camera, I'm trying to not get pins and needles. Um, so I got this off Etsy. Um, so I'll link the seller below. I'm not sure if she had any left though, because I think I got the last copy, but I'm pretty sure she'll be able to get some more or there'll be other sellers where you can buy it from. I also think you could probably get it on Amazon Japan. So I'll try and see if I can find a link for that as well for you. So basically this is a food around the world coloring book, which I love traveling and I like food. So I thought why not? So it has got a dust jacket on, which is kind of a weird texture. I would say you could color on it, but it would probably wouldn't color best. Plus it's already kind of colored anyway, but um, you have got this underneath, but it's shiny. So it's not really maybe like markers or something, but it's not really going to be the best to color in, I'm afraid. So um, it has got some content. I think about the countries and the food and some coloring techniques. Obviously it's all in Japanese, so you'd need to get a translator in order to translate it for you. And it's just sort of telling you how you could color in the food, I think, um, and telling you a bit about the food. So, there we go. I think it's pretty much included everything on here. Um, and then I think you could practice some um, here, I guess, um, if you wanted to. So we have like a map of the country. So here's our little chef, I'm assuming she's a chef, or she's a traveler who's also going to travel around the world for food. And we've got all the countries, interestingly, all the countries' names are in English. Don't know why that is, but um, there's some of the dishes from there. So first we go to England, which I have to say the flag is wrong because that is the British flag, the Union Jack, which is for England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. English flag, it just has the red uh, cross down the middle. It would be what So basically that bit would stay, but these bits would all be white. So I technically could, I could white that out and make it the English flag. Although I always go by that flag, to be fair. I never go by the English one. Um, as I see myself as British, not really English. Um, I mean, I am. I'm kind of both, obviously, but I'm more British than English. Anywho, the line art is like a brown colour and it's got like afternoon tea, so it's the stereotypical thing from England. Most people do not go and have afternoon tea, but some people will. Um, and then you've got an English garden tea party. So unfortunately, they haven't labelled what some of these are. So um, that would be like a Victoria sponge cake, for example. And then I'm guessing a muffin, some sort of biscuit. That looks like an apple pie. And that looks like a lemon meringue, but I'm pretty sure that isn't English, so not really sure, but you know, quite a nice scene, like a little garden party. And then we have lots of biscuits. So they've even written what some they are. So we've got an ice box, not sure what that is, I'll have to Google it. Biscuit, that looks like just a normal one, shortbread, cut cookie. Well, we wouldn't call it a cookie, we'd call it biscuit, because cookies are just, that would be a cookie, a chocolate chip cookie. That's the only thing that's a cookie, everything else is biscuits. That looks like a custard cream, small shortbread. Oh, that looks like one that would have a jam in it, like a jammy dodger, but not, I like those. And then we've got some like iced ones, like iced biscuits over here, which is really nice. So, nice biscuits to colour in. I have started a little bit over here in France I decided to have I couldn't resist color it not coloring in when I got it so I started coloring in a religious most of these is that I know thanks to the show the great British bake-off so I know what that is it's meant to look like a priest or an um that's what's called a religious and then Saint on air not really sure what that is Fraser which is like a strawberry cake I think with your con sponge or something like that and then correct Suzette a meal fay. Um, you quite see them a lot in um, patisseries, they have a lot of them there. A croquembosch, uh, which is a shoe, pa shoe pastry buns, which in weddings in France, is instead of cake, they tend to have this. Although, of course, now in modern times, you probably mostly have cake more than they have these, but some weddings will probably still have those. And in the patisserie shop that we have in my city, you can get those, they make them. And then we've got some more over here an eclair, a macaron, a paris breast, a canelle, galette bretonnese, not really sure what that is. And then <laughs> we always have these at Christmas, a chocolate log roll or a, a bouche de noël. So it's a chocolate log roll. So we call it a yule, yule log. So it's actually, our version is named after the uh, Vikings because they would have 
burn, they would have Yule and they would burn a log. So the French obviously have a version two and it's just made of chocolate and it's chocolate cake and it's basically a Swiss roll with chocolate, but it's really nice. I love that. And these, I'm guessing, are all tart tartans of some sort. So like a pear one, banana, melon, strawberry, orange, or berries, fruit mix, and then a creme one. And then we've got Pity Petty Four, so that's just like little tiny desserts. The, the point of these is that you just eat them in one bite. So they're kind of like, they'd be served with like coffee and stuff. So as you see, all this knowledge I have got is from the British Bake Off, so you have that to thank <laughs> if you're not really sure. Now we have Italy, and I love Italy. So we've got Cassata, Biscotti, De Fagato al Coffee, I'm guessing maybe ice cream and coffee, I don't know. Azucotto, Tiramisu, my favourite dessert of all time. Panettone, Monte, Monte Bianco, um, White Mountain, I'm guessing. Semi Free, Fredo, Baki di Dama, Cannoli, Gelato, Panna Cotta. So some of these I know. And I do like the fact that there are, there's a little bit of Venice here. We've got the Leaning Tower Pisa on this side as well. Um, so next we have Germany. So we have Apfelstrudel, Baumkunchen, some sort of, uh, there's a little castle down there, Stollen, Kirchtort. I don't know if that's an L or a B. Lipkuchen, Huxen House, so this gingerbread basically. And then we've got Belgium, famous for waffles, but also most famously more famous for chocolate. So we've got lots of Belgian chocolate on this side, which is quite cool. And then we've got Sweden, so we've got our Princess Tartar. Again, I know what that is, thanks to um, Bake Off. It's a cake with marzipan, and marzipan's green, I believe. Seminar, we've got a cannibal. And then we've got Finland over here, so Vunnebergunzude, yeah, okay, some of these I'm not going to be able to pronounce. I'm going to have to skip the Swedish, um, not Swedish, the Finnish pronunciation, I, I can't pronounce those, so we'll, we'll skip those. <laughs> I'm probably not pronouncing any of these right anyway. Um, Spain, so Panelette, sounds more French than that. A chocolate con churros, oh, I love churros, they're so good. Churron, Tata de Santiago, so that's probably like a sort of maybe a religious cake, I don't know. Who knows? Um some semada, marzipan. Oh I didn't know marzipan was Spanish. Sangria, Rascon de Reyes, Pavaron, Crema Catalana, Arroz con leche, which I think could possibly be rice pudding. Possibly. What should we have? Um anyway that's Spain. We've got Switzerland. So Zmitstern, which must be some sort of biscuit, a fondue ooh, choc chocolat, chocolate fondue. Um, and then we've got Soliterna tort, Aragal ruble tort, maybe it's carrot cake. Um, Engadina nusse tort, not really sure what that is. Spitzbaden, and then we got a lovely girl with her really long. Um, horn, which I've seen, and then look, there's a little dog with a little barrel, which they give with whiskey or whatever it is in it, or brandy or something, and Hawaii, which I think is so cute, coconut water, pancake, tropical drink, frozen yogurt, papaya boat, shave ice, malas, mas, mala, malasada, and our okay, bowl. so these are really yummy, I feel like I need to go to Hawaii now just to eat all these. And then we've got America, so we've got a chiffon cake. Uh, muffins, I'm not really sure what that is, some cookies, because they don't really call them biscuits, but apple pie. Apple pie is also British too, we have apple pie over here, and I'm pretty sure it probably came, well, I don't know if it came from our country, we probably got it from somewhere else, who knows, but I'm pretty sure that was probably taken over to America. <laughs> Either way, it's a big thing over there, as it is over here too. Um, we got cupcakes, because... Oh, these are all amazing. Look at the little ha happy lady. I would love her job. I'd just be eating the cakes all the time. And then we've got donuts, of course, because America's big for donuts. And then we've got candies, so gumball machines, like they're obviously from there, which is quite cool. Canada, maple syrup, of course. Had to be that. Butter tarts, bagel, Nandimo bar, small. So I don't really think smalls were Canadian. I thought they were American, but maybe they are Canadian. 
Anna's layer cakes that must be oh Anne's layer cake that must be Anna Green Gables down there. And then we got beaver tails, which I actually don't know what it looks like. A sort of pastry with banana on top. I need to I'm glad they have the names, so at least you can like look these up so you know what they are. Next we got Brazil, so gelatina colora colorida. Virginho, no idea how you pronounce that, Brigadario, Akena, Tiliga, <laughs> Dolce de Leche, which I think is like caramel, because I only know that because you get it on churros sometimes, Gelatina Artistica, Alfayors, Picaroons, Cacao, oh this is Peru, sorry, whoops, Peru, that's Brazil, this is Peru. <laughs> I like the Peruvian, like um, these Jatalina Artistica. They look really lovely. Next, we've got Russia. I can't, unfortunately, read any of these to you because they actually, believe it or not, written in Russian. So I'm guessing some sort of priest cake. That looks like a panettone almost with icing on it. Um, these look like um, that they're made of um, meringue, but they're not, probably. Um, um, I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to translate these. Um, some biscuits. I love the Russian dolls. And those look like little eggs. They're really cute. So I like the Russian ones. Next we've got turkey, Turkish coffee, Turkish chai, Zonderma, Bakla, Lokim, Chalek. Again, unfortunately I don't really speak Turkish. So um, no idea on the pronunciation of any of those. India. Uh, so, so I'm Papadi, Gulab, Jamun, Jab, so I think, I think I've had some of these, they're just literally like pure sugar, and they're really sticky, but they were really nice, but I couldn't only have like a, a, a little, a mouthful, because it was just so sweet, um, so yeah, I've had a, I've had a few of those, and I've got Thailand, um, interestingly, that's not even written in Thai, that's Japanese, <laughs> I don't know why, so, um, Again, like I, I, it's pretty confusing because India, they obviously most of them speak Hindi. I mean, some speak English, Hindi. There's also many different languages in India. I think Hindi's the biggest one, though. Possibly, I could be wrong, but I don't know why they've written that in Japanese, not in Thai. I find that really weird. Well, anyway, and we've got Vietnam, which is written in. I know, I have a feeling they may speak some French there. Anyway, Che, Ban Flan, Cap Fisada, Che. So it's probably just like the English phonetic way of saying it. But again, I'm confused as to why that's not written in that. Because then we come to China and it's all written Chinese. <laughs> so I have no idea what any of that is, I'm afraid. But I love how it is done. It looks really cool. And then we've got Japan. Um, and I'm guessing these are some sort of biscuits or something not a clue but they look really cute I like them um and then of course they're all written in Japanese so I'll have to try and go I mean it makes sense that they'd be in Japanese because obviously this is a Japanese book however I do find it weird that the you would have thought all of them were in Japanese but anyway so there's some fireworks little festival going there and then you get some little postcard or invitations that you can I guess you could the only problem with that is that this is on the other side of that so I'd probably photocopy it and then you could print them out onto cardstock and then use them for your own afternoon party invites for a valentine's day um card i'm guessing happy wedding so you could you know give that to somebody for their wedding you've got a birthday one but that's the only problem there the happy birthday would be the only one you could probably cut out and use because it's got that on the side but the others you'd probably have to photocopy them or scan them into your computer and print them out because otherwise you're not going to be able to take them out of the book. And then I'm guessing maybe some publisher information, I'm not really sure. And then this is, oh this is probably publish, publisher information. And then the have a map of the world in the back and that is it. Just like this one. That is this lovely travel around the world candy cake book. Um, I really love this. I literally saw it and thought oh, I must have this book so I did um there isn't very many flip flues of it on YouTube I only found one and the girl went really quick she literally just went like this and I thought like you don't really get a chance to really sit there and study the pictures so 
I thought it was best if I did one as well in case people were interested and also it means you can actually see the book now. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll leave the links where you can get it below. So I'll see you soon. Bye.